I'm gonna start. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Well, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Two Way Street Coffee House. Also, uh, celebrating Cinco de Mayo, 5th of May. <laughs> I, have a, I have a hard enough time keep, keeping track of, of my own holidays. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we are in operation 52 years in this room. Pete thinks he's been here about 40 times. So he, he knew where we were. Uh, we are also virtual again tonight. Cameras in the box on the ceiling. Uh, you can either be here in person like you are, or you can live stream from the comfort of your own home. Um, also, if you say to yourself, I want to hear that again, you can go tomorrow uh, because we archive everything. So you, you know, if you want to critique yourself, <laughs> if not, we are a hardcore listening room. I always say to people, you get one point <clears throat> from me, then I've got a hook. So I, I actually don't have a hook. So don't, don't be too afraid. But we're, we're an all volunteer staff. So tonight we've got uh, John sitting down now, pouring coffee. We got Christine sitting down. We got Joel doing the sound. Jennifer's holding up the door. And just if you're worried, Jennifer is our bouncer here. So, yeah, small, but mighty. I'm telling you. So anyway, tonight we've got uh, we've got Pete here, Pete Norman in the coffee house. There are flyers on the table. You can see uh, a little more about him. Uh, if you flip them over, you can see who's going to be in the, in the following weeks. Uh, so, yeah, it's like that. So, Pete, are you ready to play? I, I, I sure hope so. Because I've run out of material. <laughs> All right, take it away, sir. that the jazzy melody originated and then it waited for popularity in every cabaret it's the only thing they play I love to hear it I must be near it that is why I say oh baby take me to that land of jazz let me hear the kind of blues that Memphis has I long to step to a tune that's filled with ginger and pep pick them up lay them down I'll learn to do the razzmatazz let me give you a warning we won't be home until morning and everybody's full of yes bo in the loving land of jazz They got music on the breeze, even trombones grow on trees. You hear them moaning, you hear them groaning, their soulful harmonies. Now when every mother's son comes to see his loving hon, he simply test it and then request it to join in the fun old beat. Take me to that land of jazz. Let me hear the kind of blues that Memphis has. I long to step 
to a tomb that's filled with ginger and pep. I pick them up, lay them down. I learn to do the razzmatazz. Let me give you a warning. We won't be home until morning. And everybody's full of yes, Mo. In the loving land of jazz. In the loving land of jazz. Thank you. Can I have a bottle of water, please? Yes. Thanks. That's an old, uh, one of those old tunes that kind of started to bridge country music and jazz. This, I think it was recorded in the late 20s by uh, somebody that I can't remember. I was back there uh, just sitting at his knee watching him do it. Thank you. I'm not that old. <laughs> I just have a guitar that's that old. But um, this, this is my one jazz piece. I learned all these chords by rote memory. I have no idea how they work. On the last day of Pompeii, I thought I heard a poor boy say, oh, wow. If I knew then what I know now, I'd have done more, been more than I've been, had fun more, sinned more mortal sins, oh, wow. If I knew then what I know now, I'd have sent back that steak that was so overdone. Had my big break while there was time, time, time. Made my life a fantasy. I'd stop. For me Ooh, to remember, remember. And now that I'm a goner, all that lava rushing round the corner. Oh, wow. I ain't complaining. I'm just thinking out loud. My life could be different. My love could be different if I knew then. What I know now On the last day of Pompeii I thought I heard a poor girl say Oh, wow If I knew then What I know now I'd have Taken up the slide trombone Had a garden Grew my own Oh, wow if I knew then what I know now, I'd have taken that Mediterranean cruise, loaded up on chocolates, cigarettes, and booze, given some perfect stranger the blues. Hot stuff for me to remember, to remember. And when Vesuvius came to call, Arriva Derchi, baby, I'd have had a ball. Oh, wow. I ain't complaining, I'm just thinking out loud. My life would be different, my love would be different. If I knew then what I know now, my life would be different, my love would be different. If I knew then what I know now, if I knew then what I know now. Ciao, baby, ciao.
That was a that was that was the one jazz piece you're gonna hear from me tonight. I tell you, oh well, maybe another one, but that was that was a a song by Michael Smith, my uh, my songwriting hero. You both. Pardon me. You uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I went to see him at a at a songwriting seminar. You know where, where there was three prominent songwriters were going to teach us young kids how to how to write songs, and I don't remember who the other two were. <laughs> but uh, Michael Smith had made a big impression on me, and uh, and so so I went home. And I wrote this. Well, the nickel plate, the nickel plate, I know a place where the food is great. Get out of my way, I don't want to be late. I'm headed for a diner called the nickel plate. It's owned and operated by a guy named Pete. He don't speak English, I don't speak Greek. At breakfast, I don't have to shoot the bull, just to eat my steak and eggs until my belly's full. At the nickel plate, the nickel plate, not much for conversation, but the food is great. Get out of my way, I don't want to be late. I'm headed for a diner called the nickel plate. Now it got that name from the railroad, Chicago to St. Louis under any load. If you happen in, and if you look twice, you'll see that the name ain't far from the price. The nickel plate, the nickel plate, easy on the budget and the food is great. Get out of my way, I don't want to be late. I'm headed for a diner called the nickel plate. Behind the counter is the kitchen, right in plain view. And Pete will cook your eggs right in front of you. When he whips up an omelet, it can be seen that he didn't spit in it and the griddle's clean. The nickel plate, the nickel plate, sort of sanitary and the food is great. So get out of my way, I don't want to be late. I'm headed for a diner called the nickel plate. There was a guy in there the other day bitching at me, said I work for a living and you're living for free. All you do is give and all I do is give and all you do is take and here I am eating ham and there you are with steak. I said, no, Bob said you got it all wrong. I make a living writing weird little songs like the nickel plate, the nickel plate, better diner than a song because the food is great. Get out of my way, I don't want to be late, I'm headed for a diner all the nickel plate. Yep. Those were the days. Lived in a little, lived in a little, <laughs> a little, little attic apartment. There was the hottest place I'd ever had to live in my entire life. But it was within a walking distance of a place that had the best steak and eggs I've ever had. So there's a trade, I guess. Um, what was I going to do? Oh. This is by a guy named uh, Paul Siebel. But I met her at a dance I thought I'd take a chance And I held her tight While the fiddles played Now I'll spread the news She made me lose my blues One little kiss Threw them all away I got a love so true Nothing you could do could change me I'm gonna let it shine Like a blinding light I'll come 
back for more I'll be knocking at her door We're gonna climb the hill while the whippoorwill sings tonight Who do you love, my honey, my turtle dove? Come a little closer and drink my cherry wine Then whisper in my ear those words I long to hear and I'll be your daddy until the end of time At the break of dawn we'll both be gone my baby We'll get lost far across the sea Well you can run in the sun I'll play on my tin drum Tell your ma, tell your pa, you're going away with me. My woman is so fine, she's a friend of mine. If you see us coming, greet us with a little brass band. Yodel Siebel wrote that song and then did two albums back in the late 60s and then became a forest ranger. <laughs> but two just really great albums. Um, talk about guys who write great songs. <laughs> The devil loves the rich man Rich man loves his gold Don't believe in nothing Can't be bought and sold Right there on the dollar Says in God we trust Devil sits there waiting until that dollar turns to dust. Fire down below us, heaven up above. We all got something we're hungry for. That's what the devil loves. Devil loves the poor man Poor man's got to eat Devil loves to tempt him With the taste of something sweet Open up your Bible There in chapter one Adam bit the apple Devil's job was done Fire down below us Heaven up above We all got something we're hungry for That's what the devil loves Devil loves the baby Laughs each time it cries Banking on the emptiness Building up inside Everything that's evil Starts in some place pure One day you are satisfied And the next day you're not sure Fire down below us, heaven up above. We all got something we're hungry for, that's what the devil loves. Mm -hmm. 
fire down below us Heaven up above We all got something we're hungry for That's what the devil loves That's what the devil loves So it was written by a guy who goes by the name of Junior Burke these days. But back, DK remembers Junior Burke. He used to go by the name Tom Bishop. Oh, yeah. 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 And he, he wrote a whole bunch of cool songs. And this one is another. The last song was the Junior Burke song, and this song here is a Tom Bishop song. And if you're interested, and if you know who... Um, Oh, what's his name now? He played the greatest swordsman in the world. Um, and I'll think of his name now. I'm, I'm having a senior moment, but uh, he sings a version of it on YouTube. <laughs> He's from Chicago. I, I, I can't think of his name. Who? So, whoever says his name gets a prize. Curly hair. He was on. Uh, he was on. Uh, Oh, well, doesn't make any difference. <laughs> but he does have a beautiful singing voice. And I'll think of it. In the middle of a song, it, right in the middle of the lyric, I'll just shout out his name, and, <laughs> and you'll know. But anyway, he does, uh, uh, this, is a, this is a Tom Bishop song. Mr. Arthur's place is set about a mile just off the interstate highway. Kind of hard to get to. I guess you've got to know where to go. But it's there they play the music that they played before the children were children. And the style and the sound set you swinging as you step through the door. They show you to your table you have a drink or two you ask her if she wants to dance she says it's up to you so you take her by the hand and lead her to the edge of the dance floor and she whispers to you honey I'm afraid my gown's a little too long but you get into the rhythm and remember what it was that you came for to forget the 30 years that have happened since you last heard that song. You whirl around the dance floor, you no longer feel the fool. You remember how it used to be when she was your girl in school. Slide with me, Julia. I can lead if you can follow through. Slide with me, Julia. Remember simple pleasures we once knew. Remember simple pleasures we once knew. You had one terrific evening and tell her as you drive down the highway. She said, yes, I really love it. You know, we'll have to go there again. But you get that same old feeling as you pull your car back into your driveway. You know just where you are, but you're not really sure where you've been. You put out the bedroom light you have a word or two you ask her if she wants to sleep she says it's up to you
Slide with me, Julia. I can't lead if you can follow through. Glide with me, Julia. Remember simple pleasures we once knew. Remember simple pleasures we once knew. Yeah, Tom Bishop. Also a playwright, and I think he still holds the record for having the most, uh, at least in Chicago, the, the most uh, plays being produced in theaters at the same time. I know he wrote one called The Suburbs of Heaven, which I think made a pretty big, big, anyway, I'm getting off, off this other thing. What time's it getting to be? These are new lights, aren't they? These are TV lights. Yeah. yeah. Huh? I am dis I am dyslexic. <laughs> I, well, yeah, actually, it, it's true. For my whole life, I've always had to think about which hand I write with. I really have no, you know. So never take directions from me. <laughs> I have got I have gotten people so lost, <laughs> but in a very fun way. So and made up for it. I remember being lost in Kenilworth with. With Sarah Kanaki one time, <laughs> trying to trying to find a gig, and we're driving around Kenilworth. I don't know if you guys know what Kenilworth is, but it's like that's where the Beverly Hillbillies used to live, in houses like that. And we're driving around going, we're gonna get busted, you know? A couple of hippies with banjos in the in the back of our car. Uh, I didn't bring any banjos. I didn't bring any ukuleles. I just brought a guitar. I've been having some some problems with my with my um, thumbs where they where they connect to my wrist, and I've been doing my special exercises. Hold a ball that isn't there, just so I could come here tonight. Thank you very much for showing up. I had a guy run into my car in in, in my uh, in my in the parking lot of my hotel, of my motel. So that was nice. I mean, he actually did it with his car. Actually, it was a big truck, as a matter of fact. So that kind of put it, uh, you know. I, that, was, that happened before I even had coffee. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you know in me, you'd know that's not a big deal, because what was I going to do? <laughs> oh, I know what I was going to do. Gordon Lightfoot died. I don't know if you heard. He was a big hero of mine. Even though I only know one of his songs. And it's like, you know, in, in my little warped mind, I, I would always think, I'm sorry, but his songs are just too good for the likes of me to play. Except this one. <laughs> and this one actually is my favorite Gordon Lightfoot song, and I'm going to try and do it here for you. I tried, to res I tried to resurrect it. I haven't done it in a long time, so we'll see how it goes. Through the woodland, through the valleys, come the horsemen, wild and free, tilting at the windmills passing. Who can the brave young horseman be? He is wild, but he is mellow. He is strong, but he is weak. He is cruel, but he is gentle. He is wise, but he is meek. And reaching for his saddlebags, he takes a battered book into his hands. And standing like a prophet bold, he shouts across the ocean to the shore till he can shout no more. I have 
have come o'er moor and mountain like the hawk upon the wing. I was once the shining knight who was the guardian of a king. I have searched the whole world over looking for a place to sleep. I have seen the strong survive. I have seen the lean grow weak. See the children in the village wake to find the tables bare. See the gentry in the country riding off to take the air. And reaching for his saddlebags, he takes a rusty sword into his hand. And striking up a knightly pose, he shouts across the ocean to the shore. Till he can shout no more. See the jailer with his key who locks away all trace of sin. See the judge upon the bench who cries the taste as best he can. See the wise and wicked ones who feed upon life's sacred fire. See the soldier with his gun who must be dead to be admired. See the man who tips the needle, see the man who buys and sells, see the man who puts the collar on the ones who dare not tell. See the drunkard in the tavern, stemming gold to make ends meet, see the youth in ghetto black, condemned to life upon the street. And reaching for his saddlebags, he takes a tarnished cross into his hands. And standing like a preacher now, he shouts across the ocean to the shore. Then in a blaze of tangled hooves, he gallops off across the dusty plain, in vain to search again where no one will hear. Through the woodland, through the valley, Comes a horseman wild and free, tilting at the windmills passing. Who can the brave young horseman be? He is wild, but he is mellow. He is strong, but he is weak. He is cruel, but he is gentle. He is wise, but he is meek. Yeah, here's the gourd. Here's the gourd. He, uh, he, uh, he had a heck of a life going there for a long time. I got a chance to see him. <laughs> oh, there it is. I had, I had a chance to see him a, a couple of times since he grew his hair real long and got real old. And um, uh, he was still in just great voice. Just, he, he sounded great. It was up just a couple of years ago. It was the last time we got to, I got to see him, and it's really too bad. It was, he's one of those kind of guys that uh, you think he's always going to be around. You know, um, speak about guys who you thought would always be around. John, this a John Prine song, and I, I I want to do this because I actually saw John on a TV show. Um, <laughs> uh, talk about the first time he ever played this song was in a coffee house in, in Canada and, and just before he was going to play it in walks Gordon Lightfoot with three really good looking women <laughs> and, and sits down right in front of him and here he is his songwriting hero and so he, he does the song that he re recorded on his first album and, uh, and he had, but he had just written it and um, Lightfoot, li uh, Lightfoot liked it so much that, that they went out drinking afterwards, and pretty soon they're both standing in the middle of the street singing the chorus at, at, at the top of their lungs. <laughs> so that's an interesting, I'd, that's, you know, an interesting uh, visual I have of those two guys. But Mike uh, Warfel taught me this one. Or uh, Mike Warfel shamed me into learning it. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Uh, the cafe was closing on a warm summer's night. 
Kathy was cleaning the spoons The radio played the hit parade And I hummed along with the tune She asked me to change the station Said that song nearly drives her insane It weren't just the music playing It was me she was trying to blame And the sky looks black and still now On the hill where the angels sing Ain't it funny how an old broken bottle Looks just like a diamond ring But it's far, far from me I lean down my left leg In the parking lot dirt Kathy was turning the light A June bug flew from the warmth that once knew And I wish for once I weren't right We used to laugh together And we'd dance to any old song Well, you know, she still laughs with me But she waits just a second too long And the sky looks black and still now the hill where the angels play Ain't it funny how an old broken bottle Looks just like a diamond ring But it's far, far from me I started my engine And I gave it some gas Kathy was closing her purse We hadn't gone far In our beat up old car And I was prepared for the worst Will you still see me tomorrow? No, I got too much to do question ain't really a question if you know the answer to and the sky looks black and still now on the hill where the angels sing ain't it funny how an old broken bottle looks just like a diamond ring but it's far far While we're talking about, well, we're, how do you like that? While I'm talking about John Prine, here it is. Um, this is a song I heard him say one time that one of the, one of the songs that he always wish, wished he could have written. <laughs> and I thought he, and the funny thing is, is that when he said that, until, up until the time I heard him say that, I thought he did. So... It was written by a guy named Blaze Foley. Well, I'm going down to the Greyhound station. Going to buy a ticket to ride. I'm going to find a fat lady with two or three kids and sit down by her side. I'm going to ride till the sun comes up and down around me about two or three times. Smoke cigarettes in the last seat Trying to hide my sorrow from the people I meet Get along with it all Go down where people say, y'all Sing a song with a friend Change the shape I'm in And get back in the game Start playing again I'd like to stay, but I might have to go 
start over again. I might go back to Texas. I might go someplace that I've never been. Get up in the morning and go out at night, and I won't have to go home. Get used to being alone. Change the words to this song and start singing again. I'm tired of running around looking for answers to questions that I already know. I could build me a castle of memories just to have some place to go. Count the days and the nights it takes me to get back in the saddle again. Feed the pigeon some clay. Turn the night into day. And start talking again when I know what to say. I'm going down to the Greyhound station. Going to buy a ticket to ride. I'm going to find a fat lady with two or three kids and sit down by her side. I'm going to ride till the sun comes up and down around me about two or three times. Smoke cigarettes in the last seat. Trying to hide my sorrow from the people I meet. Get along with it all. Go down where people say, y'all. Feed the pigeon some clay, turn the night into day, and start talking again when I know what to say. I guess we got time for one more, right? One more uh, for this set. And then I was just told I have to come back and do a whole different set. Uh, you know, I don't know. What you would do. Actually, um, my son was in a, a, a semi-successful a semi band that played around the Yorkville and in the Chicago and actually went to Europe and did some stuff and and, and they opened <laughs> they opened for a rather famous uh, the son of a rather famous songwriter who was, who was trying to make it and he had a little hissy fit because he was the the, the main act and he didn't realize he had to do two sets <laughs> I can't do two sets I'm a I'm a rock and roll star I'm not a singer um. Them dance hall girls treat you fine. They give you their bodies, but you'll never reach their mind. They'll fill you up with lipstick lies. When they bring you down some Don't you be surprised That's the way it always is here in Baltimore I've seen her mountains And I've touched her plain I felt her warm sunshine And I drank her rain I bent so far and then I broke too fast I thought I had me a winner picked But it came in last again That's the way it always is here in Baltimore I must have chosen the wrong season to come down Never realized they call this sacred ground my sense of time Hell, I'm a week behind I mailed a letter home But these things take some time, you know I need to get some cash I need to go back home 
Them dance hall girls really know how to make a boy feel alone, you know. That's the way it always is here in Baltimore. sacred ground my sense of time hell I'm a week behind I give you their bodies but you'll never touch their mind they'll fill you up with lipstick lies them dance hall girls say they hate to see a grown man cry yeah right that's the way It always is here in Baltimore. That's the way it always is here in Baltimore. Okay, I'll be back in several minutes. He, he's right, he will be back in a few minutes with a, a whole new set. A whole new set, please. Um, yeah, so uh, the washrooms are out the door and to the left for anyone who has not been here or been here recently. Um, we'll take a short break. I usually uh, try and make sure everybody's back in their seat to before we start up again. And uh, a little, as long as I got your attention, tomorrow night, May 6th. Acoustic Wren has Dan Weber and Shauna Caspi. That's the uh, guys down in Hinsdale. So uh, we, uh, they're kind of like a sister to us, and we uh, try and let them know that uh, we're out there for them. There's uh, flyers on the, on the rack if uh, you need some more information. And uh, we'll be back in a minute.
So, Joe, I guess I guess we are ready. Um, our hostess with the mostest is uh, trying to get rid of some lemon cookies. Come on up, Peach. Okay, we're going to start again next Friday, uh, the 12th of May. We have the uh, we have Kelly Hunt, who's going to be here in the coffee house, and uh, I believe she's coming. There's I think she's two people. Uh, Joel said she's absolutely fantastic. So uh, if there's any doubt, come anyway. Just like in the olden days when people would show up and say, who's playing tonight? Because there was no internet. Right. And uh, they would just show up and say, oh, uh, he's good too. So uh, yeah. Uh, tomorrow there's a sing around in this room from two to four. You can uh, sing, you can play an instrument, you can listen, two to four. Uh, <coughs> like I said, tomorrow night, over at Acoustic Wren in Hinsdale. Uh, Dan, Dan Weber and Shauna Caspi. I almost, almost flipped those names. Dan Weber's an interesting guy. Um, he had bumper stickers that said, I deal with crazy all day long. So I gave one of those to my daughter and my daughter-in-law who were both teachers. And <laughs> they, they got a big charge I deal with crazy all day long. So yeah. But anyway, Dan I, Dan is uh, wonderful, and Shauna is also another wonderful performer. And uh, I guess that's Acoustic Wren. One more thing. Ah, BYOS. What does that stand for? Thank you. Thank you very much. It's easier when they say it than I have to, you know. To, so that's uh, this coming Tuesday on the 9th from 7 to 9 in this room. You can uh, bring a song. Um, I suppose you could just come and listen. But it's the idea is you can share a song maybe that you've written or one that you're uh, covering and uh, need a little help with some of the stuff. So anyway, BYOS, Tuesday. Seven to nine in this room. I think I run out of things to say. Did you find a second set anywhere? I I, I was able to scrape together. Uh, <laughs> oh good. A, a few more songs. All right. So take it away, Pete. Yeah, I was. I was, I was playing at at. Uh, the Old Town School of Folk Music, back when it was at the old, at the old, it was the old, old town school of folk music. And um, I, w it w I was one of the featured songwriters in, in the up and coming Chicago songwriters thing. And, and, and so, you know, they give a big introduction and I said, well, I understand that we're supposed to do uh, some original songs. So I'm going to do an original song by Steve Goodman and an original <laughs> song by John Prine. And they said, no, no, no. You gotta do your own song. We got, we, what? How long do we got? <laughs> but I have written some since then, and I was reminded of a couple just as I was standing out in the hall. And, uh, and I was told to do it. And I always do what I'm told. I was, I was. <laughs> hey, Mickey thought I couldn't do it. <laughs> I was raised by a Marine to always do what you're told, right or wrong. I signed on last night, my screen name's Cowboy Joe. Found a country chat room, I met a girl named Dosey Do. Started swapping fantasies, we both got a little bolder. 
didn't know my wife was staring over my shoulder. And the world wide web became all the rage. I jumped head first into the cyber age, but I was caught sending email to some other female. Now I'm SOL on AOL and I'm looking for a new home page. Well, the more she cried, the more she screamed, the more her anger rose. Said, I hope you saved what's on that screen, cause this machine just froze. You might have faulty memory, well, I don't give a damn. Just get your hard drive out of here till you get more megs around. And the World Wide Web became all the rage. I jumped head first into the cyber age, but I was caught sending email to some other female. Now I'm SOL on AOL, and I'm looking for a new home page. Oh, now all you web surfers, you better take this tip from me. You don't need a faster processor. You don't need more memory. And all of your peripherals just might go to waste. If you don't have a nice warm homepage, man, it's cold in cyberspace. And the World Wide Web became all the rage I jumped head first into the cyber age but I was taught send an email to some other female now I'm SOL on AOL and I'm looking for a new home page I'm SOL on AOL and I'm looking for a new home page It's actually it's actually pretty dated now. It feels so. It's like I'm it's like I'm you know singing about carving out wooden uh, canoes with hatchets and, and <laughs> trapping beaver with my bare hands. Things go so fast these days. It, who, who, oh, my my ex-wife was telling me that. That, that she thinks that they're trying to get rid of her at work because she just isn't as computer savvy as, as these young kids that are that are coming up. And, and I said, well, yeah. you're obsolete. Um, I had something in my mind and it just it, it just flew right out. Oh, I remember. Here's an old Cy Oliver song because there are no new Cy Oliver songs. It was a hit for Tommy Darcy. Yes, indeed. You gotta make it with the Jai Boys. You'll shout when it hits you. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, you'll shout. When it hits you, yes, indeed. When the spirit moves you, you'll shout hallelujah. When it hits you, you'll holler, yes, indeed. done this one already today? Boy, I'm having like a deja vu attack. It's unbelievable. It comes out. If it's in you, yes, indeed. 
make you shout. Jack, it sends you yes indeed. When the jive is jumping, you'll shout. Let me in there when it hits you. You'll holler yes indeed. Well, you will shout when it hits you, yes, indeed. Yes, yes, you'll shout when it hits you, yes, indeed. When the spirit moves you, you'll shout hallelujah. When it hits you, you'll holler. When it hits you, you will holler. When it hits you, you'll holler, yes, indeed. I want to thank Sai for that one. Speak about I remember how it goes now. <laughs> With friends around and even pals I know are true. Still I'm lonesome, homesick and blue. There's no one who can comfort me when I'm all alone. Longing for my Mississippi home. Way down on the Delta on the Mississippi shore In that muddy water I long to be once more When night shadows creep about And the whippoorwills call You can hear old Mammy shout Come in here you all Way down on the levee Strolling in the pale moonlight you can see those steamboats and the fields of snowy white. There's a feeling I can't lose. Muddy water's in my shoes. When I get them Mississippi Delta blues. That was the guitar yodeling that time. I long to hear the old folks sing those old melodies Like Swanee River and Cotton Eye Joe Sweet magnolia perfume floating on the breeze Way down south is where I long to go Way down on the Delta on the Mississippi shore In that muddy water I long to be once more When night shadows creep about And the whippoorwills call You can hear old Mammy shout Come in here you are Way down on the levee Strolling in the pale moonlight you can't see those steamboats and the fields of snowy white. There's a feeling I can't lose. Muddy water's in my shoes when I get them Mississippi Delta blues. When I get them Mississippi Delta blues. It's, it's interesting. I live up in uh, 
up in central Minnesota now where there are still patches of snow that haven't, uh, haven't melted. Yeah, oh my God. We actually, in my, in my town of Brainerd, we actually set the all-time record for the amount of snow we got this year. So we're proud of that. <laughs> um, I guess it's nice to be number one in something, you know. But uh, yeah, it was it, it was a rough winter. So, but I'm up there where the Mississippi isn't quite the Mississippi yet. In fact, I have walked across the Mississippi River in my bare feet, right where it spills out of Lake Itasca, and it's about this deep. And when I lived in New Orleans, I tried that, and I got in all kinds of trouble. <laughs> but I did live in New Orleans for, for a summer, and uh, it was the hottest summer on record, and I weathered through it without any, any electricity in my house, and oh my God. It's the, the best thing I ever did. Um, where was I going with this? Mississippi, New Orleans. We had a plumber there. So one day, I had, my, I had some instruments laying out on, on you know, the bed, because I'm living in the house that I'm working in. I'm a carpenter, and I was rebuilding a house. And he comes in, he goes, oh, you play those? I go, yeah. He goes, what kind of music do you like to play? I said, well, you know, and I just happened to be learning that old Mills Brothers tune up a lazy river. Just happened to be working on that one. And so I said, hey, you know, like, I like those old time tunes like the Mills Brothers, up a lazy river. And he goes, oh, yeah, I remember the Mills Brothers. They used to come over to my dad's house on Saturday morning and get drunk with my old dad, my old man. They were a hoot. I go, and the, you know, the whole time he's like, you know, working on water pipes. And I said, well, who's your dad? To, uh, you know, the Mills Brothers wanted to come over and hang. With it. And he go, oh, my father was, was Joe Green. And I said, from the brain that couldn't die? Because that was the one movie that Joe Green made. In fact, he wouldn't even use his real name. He used Joseph Green. That way nobody would know who wrote it and... and <laughs> It is a classic, terrible movie. And, and, um, he, and he, he goes, really, did you have to bring that up? <laughs> so, um, and I don't know if, if y'all even know who Joe, who Joe Green was or what he wrote. He wrote some, some uh, hits like back in the, in the 40s and the 50s. And, and, uh, and this, is, this is one of them. And this is the, the most recognizable one. Um, Across the alley from the Alamo lived a pinto pony and a Navajo who gave a kind of Indian hidey ho to the people passing by. The Pinto spent his time swishing flies while the Navajo watched lazy skies. Very seldom did they ever rest their eyes on the people passing by. One day they went walking along the railroad track. They were swishing, not looking. Toot toot. They never came back well crossed the alley from the Alamo when the sunlight beams its tender glow. A fly sings a, fly sings a sort of Indian hidey ho to the people passing by. Across the alley from the Alamo lived the Pinto Pony and the Navajo who fried cabrioles and cornmeal dough for the people passing by. They thought that they would make some easy bucks if they washed their frijoles and does and lux. What a couple conscientious clucks to the people passing by. They took a cheap vacation, their shoes were polished bright. They never heard the whistle, toot toot, the clear out of sight. Well, cross the alley from the Alamo when the starlight beams its tender glow. A fly goes to sleep and there ain't no dough for the people passing by, for the people 
passing by. Thank you. So that was, uh, so that was Joe Green. He wrote other songs. He wrote. Um, it's kind of cool too, because you know I got to know his son because we worked together and we had lunch together, and he was a pretty pretty decent guy. And, and so I had to uh, I had to think that at some point he shook his father's hand, and seeing as how his father wrote a song that Ray Charles had a hit with. I'm thinking that maybe those two gentlemen shook hands. So I'm just, what, two generations away from Ray Charles. <laughs> and that's, you know, the epitome of my, I'm happy now because I got to do Ray Charles. So this is the, this is the song that Ray Charles, no, this is not the song that Ray Charles uh, did. This is the song that Ray Charles did. Uh, Joe Greens. I don't do it anything like Ray. Don't let the sun catch you crying. Crying at my front door. You done your daddy dirty Who you really made him so Don't let the sun catch you lying Lying at my front door Your daddy done gone salty he don't want you no more. You can cry, cry, cry. You can weep and wail. Beat your head on the pavement, baby. Till the man comes to put you in jail But don't let the sun catch you crying Crying at my front door you Done your daddy dirty Ooh, you really made him so You can cry, cry, cry You can weep and wail Beat your head on the pavement, baby Till a man comes to put you in jail but don't let the sun catch you crying Crying at my front door You done your daddy dirty Ooh, you really made him so Dead it done gone salty. He don't want you no more. Great Joe Green. 
those two songs and the brain that wouldn't die. <laughs> he, I guess he actually, he actually owned an uh, uh, import company that, that brought in foreign horror, horror films and, and distributed them. And people said that if you called him to make an order, he'd answer the phone himself. You know, he's the only guy there. You know, what do you want? Let's, let's send it right out. You got to like a guy like that. What were, what were we doing? What was I just going to do? What were, pardon me? Somebody must know. <laughs> oh, you know. I got a request to do this earlier on. Like I wasn't going to. Be like Steve Goodman not doing the city of New Orleans, you know. Not in any way comparing this song to the city of New Orleans. Don't, uh, I'm just I'm just talking about situations here. Well, you can get them green or black. You can get them soft or hard. You lived in Acapulco, you could get them from your yard. And when you live in Chicago, you gotta get them from a store. But as long as you can get them, you can't ask for any more. Avocado. Avocado. The first thing I'd buy if I ever hit the lotto would be a new guitar and a ripe avocado. You can slice them on a salad, you can dice them on your plate. You can just peel and eat them if you don't mind gaining weight, cause they got a lot of calories, they even got a little fat, but the hippies used to love them, so they must be where it's at. Avocado. Avocado. The first thing I'd buy if I ever hit the lotto would be like a 1963 VW Microbus and a ripe avocado. You mash it with a jalapeno, diced onion, and tomato. Throw in a little lime juice if you want to eat it later, because it gets all black and gooey if you don't eat it right away. But it still tastes real good, and it can still be eaten the next day. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Avocado. The first thing I'd buy if I ever hit the lotto would be a new refrigerator and a ripe avocado. You load 16 tons, what do you get? <laughs> well, you take that big old seed, you can soak it in some water. And if it starts to sprout, then you can give it to your daughter. And if she puts it in some soil, it could grow into a tree. And then you could have all the homegrown you want for free. You know what I'm talking about. That's right. Avocado. The first thing I'd buy if I ever hit the lotto would be an ounce or two of Primo and a ripe avocado. Avocado. I wrote this song a long time ago and never thought I'd ever hear it again. <laughs> Avocado. Avocado. The doctor said it's going to kill me, but he didn't say when. Avocado. Avocado, 
running all around my brain. I'm going to do a couple of Todd Snyder songs for you. How much more time? Oh, I got plenty of time for a couple of Todd Snyder songs. Todd Snyder, if you haven't heard of Todd Snyder, he used to drive John Prine around uh, on tour. And I can't imagine these two guys in the same vehicle. They're two of the most maniac, great lyricists I've ever heard. So I'm going to do, which one do I want to do? I'm going to do this one of his first, because this is the one I had heard of him. He did a song a long time ago that got some actual, some top 40 airplay, because it was a novelty tune about, um, about uh, uh, this, this punk band that was so out there that they totally refused to play their instruments. That's, you know, it, it, they're talking about alternative music, right? And the silence is the original alternative to music. So, uh, and, then he, uh, and then I heard this on Pandora, th this song right here. I heard it on Pandora, and I said, I got to learn more of this guy's songs. So I'm, I'm going to do two of them right in, in a row here for you to give you an idea of uh, songs he writes. He, yeah, okay. So this is uh, this is the one that caught my attention, really. Everyone has days like I'm having, holding on to anything that I can. Just to keep myself from anything but laughing and looking back as far as I can stand outside my window. The winter's almost over. I can almost see the sun behind these clouds. And looking back at where I was a year ago today, laughing at the shape. That I'm in now When I was a child I spoke as that child But all I ever heard Was how I should get ahead Now growing up It ain't nothing But all this indecision With debts and doubts and worries Hanging over my head When I was a child I spoke as a child I wish I could remember what I said I'd like to find that old time feeling somewhere in between what I've become Somewhere down the line It must have seemed appealing So I guess it must work for some But I want to go back to being crazy Believing every word that I was told And sometimes growing up I think I'm getting wiser And sometimes I just think I'm getting old when I was a child I spoke as a child but all I ever heard was how I was supposed to get ahead now growing up it ain't nothing but all this indecision with debts and doubts and worries hanging over my head when I was a child I spoke as a child I wish I could remember what I said. I wish I could remember what I said. Todd Snyder, thank you.
Thank you. And like I said, that's the one that caught my attention. But now here's my favorite one of his. I think it's just so clever and cute. Coke machine glowing through the parking lot. Call this a room with a view. It's the best night of pool that I ever shot. Made a lot of money too. I was looking for some company in the local scene. Saw an ad, it had to be you. Haven't seen you since New Orleans. I often wonder where you run off to. I was looking pretty bad the last time you saw me. Lately I've been doing all right. I won a tournament last week in Oklahoma City. Hustle half of this town tonight. I got some cocaine if you want some. It's the best I could find. We could just sit here and talk all night. That big old guy out in the car don't mind like old times. Unscrew the top off the bottle of wine. Living out our own kind of American dream. Like old times. Your goal was always the same as mine. You didn't want to drop your fishing line in that old main stream. I wasn't expecting anybody but you Don't know who this could be at the door I think maybe you got a clue I bet you've been to this hotel before Put the you-know-what in the bathroom But don't flush it down just yet Put your pager in my suitcase I'll get the window You light a cigarette It'll be like old times just like the old, old times, living out our own kind of American dream. Like old times, your goal was always the same as mine. You didn't want to drop your fishing line in that old main stream. No, sir, officer, you don't understand. We're just two old friends drinking wine. Well, I'm sure she is, but that ain't all she is. She's also an old friend of mine. I got her high school picture right here in my wallet, 1982. No, sir, officer, no offense taken. You have a good night, too. It's a good thing we didn't throw this away, baby. Turn up the radio. I think that cop knew what we were up to. I guess he just decided to let us go. Don't make a big thing about the picture. It was just something I kept. Don't go all sentimental on me now, girl. You haven't even told me what your new name is yet. Old times. Just like the old, old times Living out our own kind of American dream Like old times Your goal was always the same as mine You didn't want to drop your fishing line In that old main stream And you didn't Cute. Todd Schneider, everybody, thank you. Well, I suppose I should do another one of my own. Um, bam. It's okay. This is an old guitar. How old is it? It's from 1947. It's a 1947 or so. It could be 1947, 48, or 49. There's no way of really knowing. But it's from that era. And, and, and when I got it, it had, I got it maybe three years ago, 
it had been in a closet, in the back of a closet, since about 1965. All tuned up, not in tune, but, you know, up to pitch, and just been sitting there since 65. And the, the son of the owner was cleaning out his dad's house after his dad had to be put in, in, uh, in memory care and found this guitar and brought it over to me. And he doesn't know the first thing about guitars. So he said, is this a good guitar? And I said, an old Gibson? Yeah. <laughs> why, you, why, you want it? You don't want this old thing, do you, Greg? No. <laughs> so I took it to Elderly Instruments in Lansing, Michigan, and they fixed it up right nicely without making it look new. So it still looks beat up like it's been played because it has. And then my friend DK, who's over there, ruined it for me by, by seeing that the, that the bridge is put in um, wrong. And, and, and then I'm thinking, you know, they'll fix that. I mean, they're, they'll make that good. That's their mistake, and they're honest people. So they'll fix that for me. And if it sounds this good now, think about how good it's going to sound once the bridge is in right. <laughs> so I can't wait. i gotta, I got to get there soon. <laughs> But 19, yeah, 1946, um, I was talking about guitars, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, I actually know, I also know a song about a guitar, yeah, this is a true story, Steve Goodman one time, and in fact, I'm not sure he actually said it, but I always attribute it to him, because why not, he said, True story songs are the easiest to write because all you have to do is take what really happened and make it rhyme. So that's what happened with this song. The first time I saw it, it was hanging on the wall of the old town school. It was a herringbone triple lot 28, and man, I thought it was cool. Glued to the head, there was a little bitty picture of Big Bill's face. Somehow, just knowing it was hanging there, livened up the place. It was worn in all the right places, shone with a heavenly light. I stared at it longingly, wishing it belonged to me. I even dreamed about it one night, cause I knew I could be a star If just once I could play Big Bill's guitar Now it belonged to Big Bill Brunzi He's a hero of mine It was the one he played on those records he made back before my time And he'd sing out about injustice Jim Crow's nightmare it was the one he used when he played them blues that knocked me out of my chair. There must have been something special in the strings and wood. Maybe magic made Bill sound so good. And I would pray to my wishing star. That just once I could play Big Bill's guitar. It wouldn't sound anything like that. Then one Friday night, I got my big chance, you know, I have an honest face. They let me take it off the wall to a room down the hall in a cardboard case. I played it for a while, it was light as a feather, but still somehow. It didn't really seem to sound any better than what I'm playing right now. I know now that the magic wasn't in the wood. It was in Big Bill himself, he could make a chair sound good. And to this day, I thank my lucky stars for what I learned when I played Big Bill's guitar. I learned my lesson 
when I played Big Bill's guitar. True story. True story. Big Bill Brunzi was uh, was one of the original Chicago blues men that came out of the great migration of uh, blacks moving north looking for work, looking for opportunity. And he, he kind of changed blues music and, and then he gave up on it for a while. He became a a janitor in some college in Indiana when he was rediscovered. And by the time he was rediscovered, they were in the middle of a folk craze. And so he became a folk singer. What the heck? And uh, he was very instrumental in starting the Old Town School of Folk Music and, uh, and uh, was very instrumental in getting a lot of people to want to learn how to play finger-picking guitar, learn how to use finger-style guitar. Big Bill Brunzi. You know, and he was born in Arkansas. Now, that's a matter of record. But if you listen to his, uh, and he lived, on, you know, he was able to record uh, into the 50s. And so there are some live recordings of his where he's talking about he's a Mississippi blues man Be because he's in England doing these concerts, and the only kind of blues man they wanted in England was a Mississippi blues man. There was no other kind of good blues man. So Big Bill, I'm Mississippi, born, raised, right in Mississippi. I'm in for any state you pay me to be from. <laughs> I'll be there. So uh, yeah, Big Bill, um, th there's a story. I guess he was a very nice man. It, I, it, I had it put to me this way. He was as nice a man as Lead Belly was a rogue. <laughs> but, but he was driving, and he was like this fancy clothes, and he was a very successful uh, recording artist, you know, and for a black man, that was dangerous because he would wear nice clothes and, and drove a nice car. And um, he got stopped down south by, uh, by a southern cop, and the cop started hassling him about this car, and he just, you know, he didn't, he just went with it and said, no, I'm just taking my master's car out to get washed and, and I met, just washed and I want to make sure it dries before I get, he gets it back. And he actually got out of trouble. They got, they got oh, okay. Oh, as long as it doesn't belong to you, you know. And, and it's really kind of sad. Things haven't changed all that much. Well, they, they've changed. Uh, they've changed a lot, but not enough. <laughs> I wish I knew a song that I could just plug right in there. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> it, it, I just, you know, I wish. Um, but I, but I don't. Um, I say, so I so I live in Minnesota, and up in Minnesota there's a lot of Swedes, so I fit right in. And um, there's a, a, in Sweden and Scandinavia there's a real strong tradition of everybody having a summer house. Everybody has another house to go to in the summer, and so a lot of people up in Minnesota have that. And usually, I, <laughs> I live in a summer house. Yeah. She, she, re she referred to it as, as a cabin until I saw it. And then she stopped referring to it as a cabin and started referring to it as the manor. But um, every, every, everybody, everybody, everybody either has a cabin or knows someone that has a cabin that you can get access to. I mean, if... if you can't get, if you can't find someone that has a cabin and be nice to them, then you're a total loser <laughs> in Minnesota. And they don't even want you, and then, then, and then they send you down to Texas. And that's been the problem all these years. <laughs> nice people stay in Minnesota because they have to stay in Minnesota uh, to keep other nice people warm in the winter. And if you're an ass, nobody wants you in their group in the winter, and you freeze. And so they all go to Texas. And then, and then they get into politics. <laughs> oh, boy. Have I, is anybody getting up yet? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, so, so... My wife has this party every year, and I was, 
I was told to be there the first year that I was there. I was 12 years ago because all of her 20 friends wanted to meet the new man in her life. And that will be the last of those parties I will ever go to. And luckily, one of the attendees has, has her own uh, family cabin that wasn't too far from ours. So she let me stay there a couple, of, a couple of these times. I just took the dog and my guitar, and we went and stayed in this cabin. And the first, the first year I was there, I was going to write a song about the cabin. And I started writing a song about, I just, that was my task for the three days I was going to be there. I'm going to write a song about this cabin. So I started writing a song about a cabin, and then by the time I finished it, I realized that it wasn't about a cabin at all. So this is my um, transformation song. <laughs> my parents bought it before I was born, and one thing always seemed clear. The first sunset they watched from its door was probably the reason I'm here. Weekends in the summertime, we'd fish and swim and catch snakes. Most of our, my, most of my favorite memories come from the cabin up by the lake. Only two rooms and one double bed, so I always slept on the floor. A hand pump in front and a privy out back, we just couldn't ask for much more. We had no TV, so Dad read us poems by Kipling and Whitman and Blake. He kept the shelves filled with those tomes at the cabin up by the lake. Friday night would roll around way too slow, then Dad would get home around five. Mom would have everything ready to go, we'd set off on that four hour drive. Before too long, I realized there was no way that I'd stay awake. Saturday morning, I'd open my eyes at the cabin up by the lake. Now having driven through supper, we were hungry as bears, but Mom and I would just wait to have our buckwheat pancakes till Daddy got there for some reason. He always slept late, but one way of thanking him for all that he did for our sake, worked hard all week long and drive all Friday night to the cabin up by the lake. But seeing a smile seemed to make him so glad, a love like that you can't fake. He showed me how to be a good dad at the cabin up by the lake. The cabin up by the lake. <laughs> My wah wah pedal. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm going to do one more. Uh, this is another true story, and this is also from the lake. And I have to explain. Um, Steve Goodman always said, that thing that I told you, I won't bother you with it again. And it's true. And this happened before I got up there. But I have it from at least 17, if not more, different people who are in attendance that what I'm about to sing is the absolute truth. This is exactly how it went. And uh, for a long time, I tried to get people into Bye Bye Shelly. Bye Bye Shelly. So the next time that bore finally leaves the party, Bye Bye Shelly. Or, you know, the next time that, that guy who, who is just pounding your pitcher finally strikes out, Bye Bye Shelly. 
And this is where that comes from. I stopped trying to get people to do that because, quite frankly, it's stupid. But, um, uh, and the song is too. But uh, it does show you where, it, this is, a, this is a, a, a true story. This actually happened. Now we did everything that we knew to do, hoping to get along with you. Now there's only one thing left to try. Wave our little fingers and tell you goodbye. Bye-bye, Shelly. Bye-bye, Shelly. Bye-bye, Shelly. Shelly, bye-bye. Now your man was on our porch having a drink or two. I guess he wasn't paying much attention to you. You called him ten times on his telephone. He wouldn't leave that poor bastard alone. Bye-bye, Shelly. Bye-bye, Shelly. Bye-bye, Shelly. Shelly, bye-bye. Just let his phone ring. All that day, didn't know you were just two houses away. You grabbed your pooch, you marched over here, you pulled that silly fool out by his ear. Bye bye, Shelly. Bye bye, Shelly. Bye bye, Shelly. Shelly, bye bye. Shelly, bye bye. Shelly, bye bye. Alrighty. Should I just stand over here? Just be just right where you're at. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just you know they've cha they've changed everything since the last time I was there. The whole protocol is different, and I'm all, all confused. Well, what, what can I say? The, the players the players change. The room stays the same. <laughs> and if the room's not spinning, you're in good you're in good deal. Ah, okay. good, good hands. Okay, I like that. Yeah, yeah. There's a line for a song. There you go. <laughs> If the yeah, room so um, spin. so you know, I think almost everybody here knows what I'm about to say. Well, maybe you guys could say it for me. <laughs> yes, no one gets out of the coffee house without an encore. So, Pete, well, Pete, Pete and his old guitar. I'll have to do one of the ones I already did. Well, okay. <laughs> Pick, pick a good one. <laughs> one thing good about folk music is it can it, it can it can be outdated. <laughs> Nobody cares because it's folk music. I took a walk to the corner store, but found it wasn't there no more. It got eaten up, got beaten down by the big box store at the edge of town. Can't remember its name. Probably shouldn't say it if it did. So I got in my car and drove and drove and drove and drove and drove and drove. And when I got there, this ain't no bull. The whole dang parking lot was full of automobiles. Each one driven there, I suppose, by a fool like me. So I got out of my car and I swallowed my pride, walked up to the door and I stepped inside. I was met there by an old guy named Art who handed me a shopping cart. I said, no, thank you. He said, you better take it, son. I said, I won't be needing it, sir. He says. Oh, yes, you will. So I pushed that car for it seemed like miles, down about 150 aisles, all filled with stuff I'd never need, a testament to consumer greed. Most of it is made in the good old USA. That's USA, about 550 miles southwest of Beijing. 
They got car batteries and baseball bats and guns and knives and ladies' hats and TVs, CDs, bolts of silk, and all I really wanted was a gallon of milk, and I couldn't find any. Now the customer said she thought she saw some once, but couldn't remember where. So I found a clerk, but I tell you what, she wanted to be called an associate. Said, I need milk and maybe butter, too. His eyes told me he didn't have a clue. He said, go ask him. And she said, go ask her. And they said, go ask them. And then I just quit asking. And as I walked around, I filled that cart with socks and paint and celery hearts. And after walking around all day, went to find me a place to pay. They got 57 cash registers. Only three are open. And two of them are waiting on price checks. So I found a line and got behind a bunch of carts as full as mine. The line moved slow. I paid my dough. I went out to my car and off I did go toward home with a lot more stuff and a lot less money than I had before. And when I got home, I'll tell you what, what is that? When I got home, it occurred to me this was one hell of a shopping spree, and then I realized as I reached my door that I hadn't gotten what I went there for, but that's okay. I can go back again tomorrow. The more you shop, the more you save. Thanks for coming out, everybody. I'm glad it didn't snow.